In September 2020, I went uh, to Istanbul, Turkey with uh, my wife and some friends. Uh, one of our friends celebrated their 30th anniversary there and we kind of tag along because it's also our 25th anniversary. Uh, lovely place we stayed. This is the Orient Bank Hotel, right smack uh, in the beautiful part of uh, the old town in Istanbul. Today, I'll be talking about a couple of things, uh, the granulation of colors, and then the, using one of my Turkey photograph as an example, I'll illustrate what I mean by granulating colors. Let's go. So this uh, photograph is of a Turkish dervish, well, I suppose Sufi dancer. Uh, I found it somewhere in the street when I was walking around in Turkey and I'm going to use it to illustrate uh, the example but let's uh, let's talk a little bit about what I mean uh, by granulating colors. I have two colors here. The first one is uh, Lunar Black. Uh, they are both Daniel Smith and the second color is uh, Neutral Tin also from Daniel Smith. They are both black and uh, probably the same uh, value tone somewhat. I think Lunar Black is a little bit darker but it's arguable but I think that's not the point. Uh, what you will see is that there is actually a certain characteristics of Lunar Black. It is made of a uh, heavier material, almost stone-like quality, where the, you can almost see the little pigments of uh, materials when you put it down on uh, paper. Uh, you will see it very quickly granulate, meaning uh, you will see spots or dots on the paper uh, reflecting the characteristics of granulating colors. Uh, and Lunar Black is amazingly uh, so, it's very granulating. The trick to get granulating to work uh, is basically leave it alone, don't touch it uh, after you have laid it down. Uh, preferably while it's wet, you can kind of still go into it. But once you lay it, you should not touch it anymore because if you do, it will disturb the granulation. The same color, Neutral Tint, uh, is somewhat made of a very small particle. In fact, uh, in some cases, they are like almost dye-like um, sort of uh, watercolor. So you don't really see the pigment, the molecules, very, very small. And so you can't really see the dots if you like, uh, but also arguable because neutral tint is somewhat lightly granulating. But of course, Lunar Black is very, very much uh, granulating. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same colors and I'm going to let it gradate out so that you can see that um, the color kind of shoot into uh, the waters, uh, you know, where I kind of put water on the edge. Uh, and you can see that it will spread out like so. Um, and so you, you'll be able to see a lot more better if I put up a closer uh, shot of the granulating color. The one on the left, that's Lunar Black and uh, the one on the right and that's neutral tint. So you know as you can see Lunar Black is somewhat darker uh, and it has spots all over and it has beautiful gradation as well and that's the effect that you want from these colors. Okay so now we're gonna draw this um, uh, statue and uh, we're gonna just ignore all the background and just focus on the statue itself and nothing else. I must say that I really enjoy my Turkish uh, trip. Uh, Istanbul was really amazing, lovely food, people, uh, very friendly, although at the uh, Grand Bazaar, I felt that there was a lot of hard selling. <laughs> they are very good at, uh, you know, selling though, I must admit. Uh, but having said that, uh, I really enjoyed my entire, uh, you know, 10 days uh, experience. Spent a few days in Istanbul and then a few days in Cappadocia, do all the balloon stuff and stuff like that. Um, you know, it's really, really lovely. And uh, of course, I did some sketching, uh, not a lot, unfortunately. Uh, I might uh, post some of them later on. I've been really, really busy at work, I must say. Um, and you know, making videos and doing sketches has been extremely hard the last uh, few months. Uh, but uh, I'm happy to, <laughs> you know, at least smash this one out for you um, on a Saturday. And uh, let's see uh, how this one go. Okay, I'm gonna use a single color, Lunar Black. Uh, just to illustrate, I normally don't do this. I would have other colors thrown in as well, but it is perfectly all right to do a monochrome color. Uh, you know, it's not uh, terribly uh, interesting, but 
Here's the thing, with granulating colour, you are adding the element of texture to your sketch and by itself, it does add a certain amount of interest uh, into the sketch itself. You'll see at the end what I mean by uh, adding interest, just having uh, granulation or the texture of uh, granulation uh, here, right? What I'm doing essentially is uh, adding the lunar black colours uh, with one brush, use another brush which is uh, filled with uh, pure water and soften part of the edge just to dilute it and make sure it's not so ghastly uh, as if the the black is kind of paste on uh, like a sticker all right so when you have a soft edge uh, it does look a little bit more uh, you know attached to the paper if you like so uh, you know but what I'm doing at this point is just looking at the photograph and uh, observing where the darks are and basically using water to represent the lighter part of the sketch and uh, the pigment as uh, heavy as I can to represent uh, the dark part of the statue. Uh, the heavier the pigment, the better. Uh, obviously, you will get more granulating pigment if you, you know, uh, go in with uh, as dark as possible or, or as much pigment as possible uh, in your brush. Uh, I'm putting down uh, the shape at the bottom where it's dark, uh, the base if you like, uh, that's a circle disc. Um, and uh, I'm just again going back and soften some of the edges. Uh, be very careful to have uh, enough contrast between light and dark. Uh, and you know I don't really want my sketch to look entirely just a blob of black right clearly uh, but um, you know there's enough interest in the sense of uh, lots of light lots of paper white uh, as well uh, as possible uh, and just to show a bit of a three-dimensional curve uh, you know in it so okay let's speed up the sketch at this point uh, and uh, you know since uh, I don't really have uh, any more uh, you know too much things to add to what I've already said about granulating colors uh, that lunar black consists of very heavy molecules it will sink to the bottom of the paper and uh, by doing so quickly it creates this you know texture that is uh, very very nice and it's called granulating right it's granulating colors if you like uh, most watercolors professional grade uh, will tell you whether they granulates or not and uh, you will see it in the tube uh, marker itself. So I'm almost done with the sketch. You can see that uh, I'm using the back of the uh, brush to kind of draw some lines. Um, you know, it, uh, whatever tools it's in your hand, <laughs> basically, right? Uh, if you can, you know, make marks with it, go for it. Uh, and I'm trying to also draw the kind of texture as you can see uh, the base of uh, the, the disc, right? And uh, my brush is not small enough to do all that. You can get a rigger and so on. I splatter some just to make it more interesting. Uh, so that there you go. Uh, a simple sketch, basically, with uh, just use, uh, using lunar black, using granulating color to create the texture uh, and interest. Um, and, uh, you know, this is, again, uh, trying to give you a sense of how and what you can do with granulating colors play around with it it's a lot of fun there's lots of colors that granulates uh, stay safe wherever you are bye